So today I've got the KSA Mini Mosin. This is actually one of the special edition first to 500s. I actually saw this gun first at the Iraq Veteran 2019 shoot. They had one there and I absolutely loved it. I loved the idea. I loved the look of the rifle and I had to have one because I both collect mil serps and different 22 rifles, uh, unique 22 rifles. Uh, just everything I can find that's unique. I find that those rifles tend to just be so different and odd in some cases, like the click clack gill guns and such. They're really neat. So I so this gun actually fit two categories, both the mill serp and the unique 22 market for me. Um, overall, I have to say I do like the gun. Um, the base model was $399. The special edition was $499 when I ordered it. So price-wise, uh, $399 for a single shot 22 is expensive. But, I mean, you're buying it for the unique look and everything else. You're not really buying it as a single shot 22. Now, I will say that uh, I was a little disappointed when I took it out of the box. The uh, sling collets, I'm getting to call them, fell out. And that was just a little disappointing to me for me to pull the gun out of the box and parts to just fall right out. Another thing I found, it's not that big of a deal, but it is just a little problematic is if you go to take the gun down, uh, these barrel band retainers, the retaining springs, are not attached to the wood. So when you remove the barrel bands, they will actually just flop out of the stock. And if you're not paying attention, you'll lose them and won't have any way of retaining the barrel bands again. But overall, I am fairly happy with the rifle itself. Uh, what I'm not so happy about is the uh, special edition box. I've got to admit I'm disappointed in that. Um, all right, so what really disappointed me was uh, the extra hundred dollars for the special edition, uh, specifically the box. Uh, the box was the majority of the extra hundred dollars. It was you get one of the first 500, you get the sling that was on that's on the rifle, and you get the box with the certificate of authenticity. Uh, I'm really disappointed in the box. I mean, it's just a really sloppily made thing. Uh, first off, you can see the box is uh, not actually together down here at the bottom edge. It's actually separated. Uh, that was that way when it was delivered. Uh, next, one of the nails here blew out in the corner here. This corner brace uh, has a blown out nail. Uh, the lid is not on straight. It's actually very crooked. And the rifle blocks here, the rifle stand blocks, don't have any felt or anything else on the top to protect the rifle. Now, I could forgive not having the felt on the blocks. I could forgive the lid not being on entirely straight. I could forgive one of the nails being blown out. I could forgive just this, just the separation. I can forgive any one of those individual things, but all of them together on a box that basically cost me a hundred dollars is very disappointing and if I had it to do over again I would not do it at all. I would not recommend it. Uh, it really was a big disappointment for me to see this box and the condition it's in. And it did put a very big damper on the rifle itself as well, because, uh, I mean, part of the rifle was the box.
Okay, so what are my thoughts on the rifle overall? Not the special edition features and all that, but just the rifle itself. I think it's a decent shooter. It does fairly well. Uh, it can be a little tough to actuate the bolt, especially with a 22 round in there. It likes to jam itself up a little bit and you have to fight it to get it to go in and lock down. But it's actually a fairly accurate little rifle. Um, Overall, I'd say it's 7.62 by 54 out of 10. 